Hey everybody, it's Lisa, owner of Peaches Skincare. You can visit us at peachesskincare.com and I also invite you to follow us on Instagram and Facebook to see a little bit more about who we are and our holistic beliefs in skincare. Uh, I answer everything here on YouTube. I have someone help me with Facebook and Instagram. I don't really love to get on social media. Uh, many of you that have been here for a while know why I'm on YouTube. It was all with COVID closing our salons and here I am a year later and I'm so grateful for all of you who are tuning in. Um, if you're new and we have so many new subscribers and you're all reaching out to me and I love it and I feel so fulfilled, um, I am 55 years old, God, 55, and I wear no foundation, no concealer uh, during, ever, but especially during my videos. I keep everything very real and natural here. I don't inject my face, I do nothing invasive. So, so many of you are still asking because I think you haven't probably seen some of the earlier videos. What you see here is a woman who's 55 and done nothing to her face. And everything I teach you is based on what I have taught my clients in our skincare salons for over 35, almost 36 years. I can take care of anything, but you have to trust me and it is all about a regime and consistency. So, so many of you have asked about the AM and PM routine and I thought I would throw a few more tricks and tips in here. We'll talk a little bit, but I'm going to go over each routine. So, I'm going to do AM right now and then we'll do another video on PM. Um, the skin is a beautiful thing and when you don't mess with it, you don't poke needles in it, you don't laser it and chemically peel it and do all of these crazy things to it, it is so highly suggestive or it, it hears you, it listens. Um, receptive, Kent, is, Kent always gives me great words, it's very receptive to change. If you're younger and you're dealing with acne or scars, you don't have to. Look at your neck. If everything looks beautiful on your neck and chest, it's usually something going on with your face. You may have worn foundation, you may be using a product that's not good for you. If you're aging, if you're 40, 50, 60, 30, 70, and you feel like you can't improve your skin, you are so very wrong. And I have been doing a lot of videos of before and afters just from YouTube clients. So you can see what just taking care of your skin can do for you without even being in the salon with a facial. But I do absolutely insist or recommend or encourage you to find an esthetician, a master esthetician in your area that gives you a beautiful facial. Um, and if you have any questions, comment with love and kindness below, uh, even if it's on anything you're using, any different tools you're thinking about going to use because you're seeing it in different areas or different platforms, because so much of it is junk and so much of it is not going to do anything if you don't take care of your skin. Please like and subscribe to this video as well and let's just get into my AM routine. So I'm going to go over every single step. Let's pretend that I just woke up for the day. I walk right over to my sink before I make the bed, before I do anything, and I grab my Restore Cleanser. So if you want to pause the video and go and get all of the products that you use, whether they're peaches or something else, this would be an antibacterial cleanser. I don't believe in double cleansing. This is simply if you have been sweating at night, uh, we're rolling around on our pillows, maybe you went to bed with dirty hair, which you shouldn't, you wanna change your pillowcase every couple days, but this is because at night is when our skin cleans itself out and purges. Our body purges all the impurities and our skin, the largest organ of the body, cleans everything out at night or filters the system of toxins. So the first thing I do every morning is I just wash my face with Restore and I used too much. That's the other thing many of you are asking me. How much do you use? The size of a pea. These are very concentrated products. I'm not going to go over my eyes because I just can't see to talk to you if I do. And remember, I do everything down to my neck, my chest, and if you can do your back, absolutely do your back. It's a little tough in the morning at the sink. But this is just at my sink and my basin. Um, I'm hoping to show you uh, close up at the sink as soon as we get one of the bathrooms remodeled in this new house. This is about a 100 year old house and Kent and I are having to do uh, quite a few things to it. It has been a blessing and a joy that we have been able to get our own home. I know how hard that is for so many. And as a young girl, uh, 
I lived in a car, a hotel. Uh, I know what it feels like to not have things and I am so grateful for this for as exhausting as it has been. Okay, so I take my Restore and I just wash my face. So really, we're getting rid of any dirt and oils. I have heard so many people tell you to not wash your face in the morning. This is absurd. Your skin cleans out at night. You have got to wash your face in the morning. So after I wash my face, I just pat my face dry and I take my Miracle Mask. Now, I have a professional one here. Uh, John will show you the Miracle Mask if, uh, so that you can see it. And I just pump a little bit out, but you'll take it out of your little pump. You'll pump a little out. And this is when I choose to do my Miracle Mask. Now, can you do this in the bathtub? Can you do this while you're watching a movie during the day, if you have the day off? Absolutely, but this is how I get my Miracle Mask on every day. And again, you'll, yours is in a little jar and you'll just pump it out. This is a pumpkin, papaya, it is a natural enzyme. Uh, the Restore is a antibacterial with natural, uh, uh, go to cola and things to really kill any bacteria and things. So I'll leave my Miracle Mask on. I'm kind of rushing, but I'll do down to my neck and chest. And then I'll go in and I'll make the bed. I'll do some of my chores before I go on my walk with my pup. So once I walk the dog and it's time for me to shower, that's when I'm going to do my routine. So I do rinse this off before I go on a walk. So this is not, you could leave it on. As you can see, no one can really see it, but I like to put sunscreen on my face before I go for a walk. And I also put on my wide brimmed hat. Now this is prior to getting in the shower and doing my whole AM routine. Now for those of you that do it at the basin, you would do it the same way. Okay, so let's pretend that we're going to go and walk Sammy. I'm rinsing all of this off. Hopefully I get everything off that I'm gonna be doing so much. And then I will, as I said, put on my sunscreen. I've been loving this non-nano zinc oxide. I'll put this all over. I'll put my hat on. We'll go for a walk. Come back. Maybe I've had my breakfast by now. I do intermittent fast. And then I'm going to maybe work out, but then I'm going to pop in the shower. So let's say that we are now in the shower. I'm gonna take my Flawless Exfoliator, Go To Cola, uh, Hibiscus, which is the Botox flower. I do not believe in Botox, but it will help to firm your skin. Uh, blueberries, pomegranate, these are all natural uh, ingredients that have been used for centuries to heal the body and clean the skin and clean the body. So I take my Flawless Exfoliator, if you have something at home like an exfoliator that is gentle, you want something very gentle or something that is working for you, and I work it around. So we exfoliate first to loosen. We wanna loosen any dead dry skin. That Miracle Mask probably loosened a lot of things too. Uh, sebum, dirt, oil. And again, I'm going to get down my neck and I'm going to go down to my chest. This video might go a little long, but I really want to make sure you all understand how to do your routine. I leave this on for maybe a count of 10 and then I'm going to rinse it off. And obviously you're not going to use bowls like I am. Um, you're gonna be at a basin or in the shower where clean water is uh, running. And I'm just going to rinse this off. You want to exfoliate first, ladies and gents. We want to exfoliate to loosen any impurities so that our cleanser, which I call face food, can do its job. I take my classic cleanser, grapefruit acid, sugar cane, wonderful elements that help to feed the skin. And if you wanna look at any ingredients, just go on our website. I list every single ingredient, not just the key ingredients like many other uh, products do. We list every single ingredient. I'm going to wash it around. Now you can use your fingertips or if you have something like a Foreo, like I do, you can use that. And I will just go out to kind of drain under my eyes in the morning, and a lot of times I'll feel things kind of dripping down. 
and my skin really took a beating with the move. I think opening boxes, all of the dust, cleaning this house. This house had been a vacation rental and it was just, I think you just don't see the dirt until you move in, but also, you know, they moved things out, we moved things in, and it really just, my skin took a real uh, beating from it. And a lot of you know from my last video, I went and I, uh, trained with a lot of my peaches so that was wonderful because that helped me to get a facial I also take really good care of my hair during this time. Um, I'm gray to about here not fully gray I wish I was you'll be seeing it down soon, but I'm hoping to go and get it trimmed and I just want it to be in the best shape Okay, so I have washed around I take a little bit longer than that But just take some time get that blood flowing blood flow means that you you are getting blood flowing to the skin cells, you are oxygenating them, and you are creating collagen. And you absolutely can create collagen. There are so many wonderful ways of doing that by the foods that you eat, things that don't have to be invasive, just the things you put in your body and the things that you wash with. And you should see as I'm washing, my skin really starts to come alive. Hopefully we're close enough for all of you. We're really trying to find the best spot in this house. So after I have exfoliated and cleansed my face, I may do restore again, depending on if I worked out or how active I was. So don't hesitate to use an antibacterial again if you want to. Again, I don't believe in double cleansing. I simply believe that if you are on your menstrual cycle, if you have just worked out, if you're a gentleman and you shaved your face prior to showering, using Restore can really be beneficial. So I have Flawless Exfoliator, Classic Cleanser, Restore, and now I might do baking soda. Now I keep baking soda in this little container. I'm not going to do it right now because I just did it yesterday. Um, I didn't uh, know which I, what I would be filming today and I also had microdermabrasion done this week. So baking soda is something that I do one to two times a week, maybe. Some of you can do it every day and you do just fine. Some people have told me they like to do it every night. Some have done it morning and night. You will know if your skin wants you to be doing baking soda a lot or a little. Because I get professional facials, because I get professional microdermabrasion done with crystals, perfectly sphere crystals, I don't need to do it as much. But for a lot of you that can't get a facial, aren't in an area where you can get a facial, you don't have a good esthetician by you, baking soda will mimic microdermabrasion by about 50%. So it's helping me to help you get all of those old skin cells off that have been on your skin for so long and made your wrinkles look deeper, uh, make your pores look so much bigger. Pores are not hereditary. Your skin and your color is hereditary, but you can change it. I have seen twins where one twin didn't take care of their skin and the other one did. You can absolutely change things and you can make pores look poreless. You can take away wrinkles you think you've had for years. And if you don't believe it, look at the before and after pictures that I show. So if I'm not doing baking soda, I will pat my face dry in the shower. Um, I may have a towel hanging over, I may have a washcloth, and I will take my polish. Think of polish as milk and sugar. It is a uh, product that, uh, it's probably one of my favorite products. Um, a few of you have asked about d discoloration on the skin and things like that. I made a lot of these products over 25 to 30 years ago because I had melasma above my lip. I had really severe melasma on my cheeks and I knew there was a better way than what I was seeing at some of the doctor's offices that I would go in and do facials. I'd see them burning people's skin and lasering their skin only to see them come back four to six months later and I thought they looked more aged and their skin looked worse. So I wanna teach you things that actually change your skin naturally, just like losing weight. You hear me say it all the time if you've been with me a while, you want it to last. You don't wanna go on this crazy diet and then you gain back 30 pounds next year. You wanna do it right. I take the polish and I work it around. Now I've had people say in the past, they've commented that, wow, you're so rough on your skin. I am not rough. I am being so gentle. Everything is so gentle. These are not big chunks of anything. You know, milk, sugar, go-to cola. These are very, very gentle products. Yes, 
everybody you can get up to your eyes absolutely get up to your eyes if you feel irritated let me know and i'll tell you why maybe something happened um, you'll also note that i teach you how to clean with uh alcohol inside your nose i'll show you that in just a minute i let this sit for about the time it takes me to wash my hair condition shave all of those things now digressing when I wash my face in the shower, and I should have showed you this, um, I do have a disposable razor. I actually love these Bill Bic Silky Touches. This one is just an extra one I had. And I will actually shave my chin, shave my lip. I do this every morning and every night with my cleanser on my face. So know that you can do that. And then I would go on to maybe my baking soda if I'm using it, but always my polish. I use my polish twice a day. My skin does beautifully with it. Um, it naturally lightens brown spots. It naturally gets rid of all of that thick callus. It doesn't bleach anything. And then after I'm done washing my body, I will just work it around in a circular motion as I work it off, just like so. And it is a remarkable product. Uh, something at home that you can use like this, you could make yourself a little bit of milk and a little bit of uh, sugar, uh, maybe a little bit of honey, and you could put that on your skin. I have wonderful things like Manuka honey and um, turmeric, or Manuka honey and aspirin, six aspirin crushed. It won't give you exactly what polish does, but it will absolutely help us to alleviate that callus layer. Okay, so once I've done that, I then kind of let my face uh, rinse off in the shower and I'm going to use this other bowl and I'll really get things rinsed off. This is an enzyme, so I wanna make sure it's rinsed off and it's not active on my skin when I get out, just like so. And I know I'm kind of avoiding my, I'm not avoiding my neck and chest, but um, it's a little harder on camera, but do do your neck and chest. Make sure you're getting everything really well. Really rinse everything off, like so. Okay, so we are now out of the shower. Let's pretend we're out of the shower. I will spray my skin with apple cider vinegar toner. If you wanna use apple cider vinegar, make sure you dilute it. Another question a lot of you have had. You can make your own apple cider vinegar, but dilute it and you do not rinse it off. You spray it on, you can put apple cider vinegar from the container on a wet washcloth, that will, di will dilute it and put it all over. But make sure you get that ACV on. It is a natural antibacterial, antifungal, and it really helps your skin. And then I spray on our pH toner. I want my skin to be a perfect pH so that all of my actives I'm about to use will do what they need to do. I then, every morning, and most nights, it depends on how active we are, and really we should do this at night because you're out in the environment and things. I will clean the inside of my nose with alcohol. I know a lot of you have seen this, but a lot of you haven't. I'll just clean right inside. This is where staff starts. It's why a lot of people break out around their nose area or around this area, so it's really keeping it clean. And then at this point is when, for the past few months, I have been using my Dr. Gross uh, mask. So I wanted to show you this. I'll have John speed up the video, but I leave this on for the count of four minutes. So essentially, it goes over my face. And you know what, actually, it's not gonna get over my bun really good, and I don't wanna take the time. I put it on, I push the light to red, which is anti-aging, helping to build collagen, helping with discoloration. If you want for acne, you have this almost violet color. And then you can go to the third one and you have both. Now it goes for a timer by itself. I just leave it on and then I take it off. I put it right back in its little silk bag. A lot of you have asked me about many of the masks out there. Be mindful. Um, I see skin every day. I We see clients every day in our salons, so I'm pretty, uh, aware, especially with three skincare salons um, in 35 years, you have everyone trying to sell you everything. 
These light therapies really didn't do a lot for a long time, but I am impressed with a couple of them. But I will only recommend this one. I bought it myself because this is the only one that I have used. So that's the one I'm gonna recommend. I apologize guys, something's flying around and sorry if you saw that. So after I do that, you may, if you're one of my clients having to use Monistat, Monistat 7 is anti, uh, fungal. It is myconazole nitrate. It is over the counter. Uh, dermatologists can give you a prescription for it, but you want to use it in areas that seem rough or red. People have sent me pictures. They'll say I've had this bumps for these bumps for you know years. The doctor says there's nothing you can do. All it is is active fungus. We have act active. Uh, we have fungus and bacteria always on our skin. It's when we activate it or leave an opening that we have an issue. So that would be when you would put that on do not rinse it off. Many of you are asking me, do not rinse it off. If you're one of my Persigel clients and you need to put on Persigel at this step, you only use a little bit. You can kind of get a little wet after you put it on to dilute it because benzoyl peroxide will be the one thing to irritate you, but you would put it on at this step. And again, do not rinse it off. If you're moving on, now is when you'll put on your vitamin C. I love vitamin C. We put gold in our vitamin C. A lot of you have seen that in other videos, and that's why it doesn't oxidize. Vitamin C, when it is good, and there are a lot of bad ones out there, can be amazing for your skin. I will put it on all over. It only takes one pump. I'll just work it all over my skin, and I'll really let it set. Now, a lot of you ask about layering. Don't freak yourselves out about layering so much. I know through the years we're told, go from thinnest to thickest and you know make sure this doesn't uh, counteract this or doesn't have a, um, you don't have a chemical reaction. Well, this is true if you're using really synthetic products um, like The Ordinary. We see a lot of burns and you know I don't like to mention other products. I like to be very honorable, but you have to be mindful that you're all picking products from different families and they're made differently and you can have chemical chemical reactions. So try to stick with the same skincare line if you can. Many of us make it um, very specific to each other. So after my vitamin C, um, I will actually put on my needless serum and many times actually I like to put my needless serum on before my vitamin C. So forgive me, I started talking. I take a little bit of needless serum, I'll put it all over my face, one drop, and then I will put on my vitamin C. After my vitamin C, I like to put on my Luminous for the day. Luminous is daisy flower uh, and elements that will help to brighten your skin naturally. And I just work it up, that's just one pump, and they work together. You're not going to have any issues. If I want to put on my neck cream, I will put on my neck cream now. Now there's two neck creams I'm recommending now. This one a lot of you have seen and um, it's made in California. Anyone who tells you you don't need eye cream or neck cream has not taken care of clients personally for years. Um, they're just testing different things, but you need a neck cream and you need an eye cream. These areas are thinner and the ingredients are elements that help those areas. Um, this one is HSBC. It's a wonderful neck cream. And this one was sent to me by Dermatology. It's called Age Reverse Neck Cream. I'm really impressed with it. I've been using it for about five weeks and I definitely see where it has smoothed kind of those lines that go to the side. But if I'm dehydrated or tired, which I, I still am guys, I'm still recovering from the move, you will see a little line on my neck. And honestly, in all the years I took care of skin, this is the one area I should have been even better with and I have been much better. After that, I'm going to put on my eye cream for the day and all you need is a tiny, tiny bit of eye cream. Eye cream, um, our products are very pure and eye cream should be pure. You'll use your ring finger and you'll just go right under your eye like so. I don't typically like it on your eyelids because the eyelids are pretty sensitive. It's where um, dirt and dander and pollen can get stuck to your eyelashes and cause you to be irritated. So sometimes if you have moisture up there, it can actually cause irritation in the creases. So I'd like you to just keep it underneath and then I will put on my moisturizer. So our moisturizer is like face food. It is very healing, any scar tissue. You'll work it up, really get that blood flowing. 
just like so. And this should only, someone told me recently that they were taking quite a long time to do their AM and PM routine. This should take you a minute and a half. Yes, this video is long, but I'm talking. It shouldn't take you long. And work that up. Look at the blood flowing on my face. Do you see that? And then I'm going to put on my sunscreen for the day. And I'm going to um, use again, I love the non-nano zinc oxide. I'm just going to put it around. No one uses this stick but me. So it's my bacteria and fungus. I'll get it on my neck. I'll also put it on my chest. And I want you to see how you can see the white zinc. Can you see that? What's beautiful is how it rubs in. It rubs in just beautifully. If you want to use your color science, if you want to use your Elta MD, make sure they're only zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. I really do not believe or love other sunscreens. When they heat up chemicals and things, um, they do heat up darkness in your skin if you have melanocytes that are closer to the skin surface. So you really want to be sure that um, you're not causing those to get more brown. On red skin, they can, or white skin, they can cause a, a little bit more redness, lighter skin. You just don't need the chemicals in your systems, ladies and gents, okay? So as you can see, I rub that in. If I um, am going to be uh, active that day, I have my sunscreen on if I was going to be in the house I would leave my sunscreen off I don't need it I'm not sitting in front of a window all day I don't need the extra um, product on my skin but if I'm trying to keep an area light like if you have something going on around your lip if you have some darkness somewhere go ahead and put that zinc oxide on it all day long just to protect it but I'm very active and I'm outside a lot so I do put my sunscreen on a couple of you asked if I reapply it I do reapply it if it's the middle of the day and I'm going to be gardening or I'm walking over to the beach or I'm getting you know gonna be active but if I'm in the salon I do not have sunscreen on because I'm not in front of windows at the salon either that was my morning routine. I hope that if you've seen it before, this added a little different element to your skincare regime. Um, I hope you're loving our new environment. Kent and I are really excited and happy. Um, if you have any questions, please ask with love and kindness below. And, um, oh, I wanted to add, hopefully not, you haven't tuned out. I am loving this stick. And this is about the only extra color I'll do. I will do my eyeliner, I will do my mascara, and that is about it. I don't put any foundation or concealer on my face. We don't need it. I just make my eyes pop if I want to. I'll put some lip gloss on and that's it. Hope you all stay beautiful naturally.